Welcome to Dungeon 4, Angler's Tunnel. It's one of two water dungeons in this game. They're one right after each other. This one, it's less bodies of water and more just puddles, so don't worry about it too much. Yeah, calm down, it's okay. We've got our red tunic on, we're ready to go. Oh yeah. Oh, that's so satisfying. It never gets old. It also never gets old is destroying those Zol in one hit so they don't split. Oh yeah, that is a key strat for being this game. So as you can probably tell, the light-colored water I can walk on, the dark I can't. At least not yet. So obviously the dungeon item's a speedboat. <laughs> well, like how you got a raft in the first Zelda. Yeah. And a ladder. Which you also used on gaps. So anyway, there's not too much going on with the enemies in this dungeon. They're mostly just the little skitter things that fly around, a couple pea hats. Nothing wild. The pea hats are definitely the most annoying enemy. <laughs> Right. But luckily, they don't seem to be tied to anything like, you don't have to kill them to unlock a door or get a key. Right. I like how you're just cutting out all the descriptions now. Well, because the first one I got was the compass, and I'm cutting that one out anyway, and I thought, you know, I'll just do it for the rest of them. So there's an item you can get that really kills the P-Hats, but it's the last dungeon item, so... I haven't even added up to there yet. Or the first one, if you do it right. God damn it. The pea hats also float somehow? That shouldn't be allowed. Well, I imagine they're light. I guess. Nothing like the pea hats in Ocarina of Time. I just now remembered the things in the beach and the desert aren't pea hats themselves, they're levers. Ah, right. So you've already got most of the dungeon map covered. This dungeon's not very large. No, nah, that's why we're only here for like the first half of the video, and the rest of it is more seashells. Seashells on top of seashells on top of seashells. No! You duh. <laughs> that's okay. The dungeon music wasn't that great. You know something's wrong when a buff is annoying. And it's it's just purely superficial for me. It's the music. I'm fine with the buff. Denied. Gotta go find it in the level below. So just like the other games, you can actually flip those guys over with a shovel, too. Can't get there yet. Well... I gotta pass this insurmountable obstacle. P hat's really blocking you. You almost got enough money to buy the bow. Yeah, I think it's one more dungeon or immediately after this one that I'm able to buy it. Right, because this is the Paragon run. <laughs> of sorts. The drunk Paragon. This is the I don't want my name changed run. Yeah. The shield does nothing. Now, is that a puzzle that's turned up in later games? Or in at least one other? The glinting tile puzzle that you have to step on in the right order? Yeah, that one. Uh, no. I don't think that comes up at all. At least not in that form. There are other puzzles where you have to hit something in the right order. Now I like this guy's name. He looks like a giant Octorok. He's called Q-Ball. <laughs> nice. We just have to hit him in the back of his head. Now, I think I'm being smart here because jumping is faster, so I am able to get behind him, but there's actually an easier way to fight him. You can Pegasus boot into him. 
Which I imagine was more intended. Yeah. I can also do that. That's much faster. Yeah. Hey, you're not supposed to do that! Ah! So yeah, that mini-boss, really all he does is go around in a circle. I don't even think he was trying to hurt you. He was just running around his swimming pool. This isn't the most impressive dungeon music. It's just the cave music, but a little faster and a higher octave. Yeah, this is probably one of the worst, or at least least inspired. Hey, it's the flippers! It's the flippers that control how flippers are supposed to. Right. None of this wiggling the control pad. Well, Seasons didn't have that. But I'm still glad to see it. You want to remember the order that you stepped on these tiles. Yeah, I tried doing it in the other room just by memory, but then eventually I realized I didn't remember how this went, so I just went for this. Yeah. So now we can swim around the deep water. There are no underwater areas in this dungeon, but there will be later. Nowhere near on the level of underwater shenanigans as Jabu Jabu's belly, though. No, oh, you did it wrong. That's alright, it doesn't care. Yeah, you can just reset it. Swamps seem really proud of themselves. <laughs> now this is a little obnoxious. When you get to the top of that ladder, you do like a small jump. Mm-hmm. Sort of an aerial roll. So I can't jump with the rock's feather and get it properly. I need to get to the top and make sure that I'm standing on top of the ladder before I jump. Right. It acts kind of like a platform. Now, while this dungeon is really small and ultimately uninspired, I think, I kind of like the boss. I like it too, because of how it ends up going for me. Oh, good. Because I find a piece of power. Oh, now you're really unstoppable. Yeah, exactly. McFly doesn't have to spin the sword, it just... everything just dot. <laughs> nice. That's the best way to fight those guys. So I know I just edited this footage, I should remember, but I think I do buy the bow after this. Excellent. Once you buy the bow, that's pretty much your strongest weapon for a long time. Until you either finish the trade sequence or hit Dungeon 8. Projectile weapons are remarkably strong in this game. Yeah. Projectile and ranged. Now, as far as I know, your projectile weapons are not affected by your tunic. I wouldn't think so. It's mostly just your sword. Right. I mean, that would just be really unfair. So you can't use the rock's feather underneath. There's nothing that helps you go down faster. Which is a little annoying. It's mostly just me sitting and waiting to get down. You have to get the ballast upgrade. But our boss is an anglerfish. Pretty cool. I think it's just kind of a cool area. You know, you're underwater. It's not a hard boss, but... No, I'm sure he does some attacks, but he didn't get the chance yeah. to show them. <laughs> he does a couple things, but ultimately, easy boss. I just like his boss room. Yeah, it's different from all the others. Right, it's not just yet another room in the dungeon, you're underwater. You got... <laughs> it's the goddess harp! Ready to waggle the Wiimote back and forth? Michael. Bay. Your path leads to yet another water dungeon. 
Now, I don't know this at the time. I will go back for this later in the video, but it should have actually gone left, because there's something very useful over there. Yeah. But there is stuff over here. Such as a well-hidden heart piece. Not really a clue for it, except that it's an empty room that you kind of have to suspect something's there. Most of the heart pieces are like that. Yeah. Nope. McFly has a really hard time going around Little Rocks. Just too drunk to pull himself up. Yeah, should he really be swimming? <laughs> Then am I glad when I'm able to kill those guys. Oh yeah, sweet revenge. So I come across something surprising. Ooh. Spooky. After I'd swam down a good distance, I'm not sure exactly what triggers this guy, but a ghost starts following me around, and playing that same annoying jingle every time I enter a new area. Yeah, this is the worst follower. It doesn't do anything for you, and it's just annoying. Thankfully, I'm not too far from the bay. See? A mermaid! <laughs> Alright, forget the ghost, just go to the dungeon. Yeah, you can go directly from Angler's Tunnel to Catfish's Maw. It's right there, you just need the flippers. Right, there's no event. You can actually leave the previous dungeon early, as soon as you get the flippers, and go do Catfish's Maw. And then come back. Hey, there's the fisherman's brother. So if you remember, that owl statue that's right on the island above us is saying secrets are like water to bridges. That's because there's a dude in the water under the bridge. He's a fisherman without a hook. Which means we should continue the trading sequence. We're going to help a little bit of a love story happen here. Great! <laughs> okay. Imagine that system going, eh, Help me. Why aren't you helping? We're not far from his house now, at least. Just need to cross that gap. Oh, but first treasure. A very obvious seashell location. Just kidding, it's Ralph under a bush. Wouldn't it be a dick move if there was also something in the dirt? Right. There's his house. What are those baubles on his head? I don't know. I always saw this as a girl ghost with, like, pigtails. Or maybe they're horns. I don't know. This is a depressed ghost. Chun-Li hair things. Yeah, something like that. Without the hair. So the ghost wanted to see its house, I guess? To figure out if... I don't know triggered memories, and it's just depressed, so it just wants you to take it back to its grave so it can die again. But in the meantime, I got enough to buy the bow. Yeah. Only. It's a sale, I tell ya. Only 19 below your maximum. Right. And from then on, we can buy arrows if we need to. Yep, it's uh, one rupee per arrow, so... Ten for ten. Just like the original. The only person with their own grave. Yeah, go back to that place we were just at. 
Did you see that shit? So do you know if that secret is there before we bring the ghost here? You can't get it till after the ghost. It's a flag thing. Just a reminder. Sleepy guy's still asleep. Want a picture by this random grave? McFly's just leaning, drooling over on the grave. <laughs> Ugh, I've been at this for too long. D did, did you throw up on the gravestone? There is a little light patch. Yeah. I was very afraid that I'd be here forever. Now we're back to Mr. Wright. It's right above the forest. Oh, what? That's not the goat! I think she's catfishing. She's peach fishing. So, <laughs> so the choice is, do we tell him or just let it happen? Maybe he set himself up for disappointment by seeing the picture and then he meets the goat lady and he's more into that. Maybe. Either that or he's gonna wake up in a bathtub with no kidneys. But we got a broom, and immediately, Arira's wife lost hers. I can now continue sweeping the grass. Thank you, young man. Nothing, as it gets caught in his ear. So something I missed, heading back to this little quicksand pit, is this is one of the areas with a secret heart piece. Yep. You gotta be poking every wall with your sword everywhere. And that's another heart container, so just four more heart pieces. Right. Just got four more dungeons and one more heart to get. So I'm still not fully equipped to get this heart piece, but I can't take one more step now. I've got the bow and arrow, and there is a cracked block there. I thought this was a bug that was later made official, but looking at this, I'm not so sure. If you press the arrow button and the bomb arrow at the same time, you do make bomb arrows. Now, if you're really crafty, you can make this, but it's very difficult. I tried many, many times, and I could not close that distance. You want to try and aim for the patch that's on the top part of the hole. But yeah. So speaking of well-hidden heart pieces in water... Yeah. There's another one down by the castle. Absolutely no clue for that one. Oh, <laughs> nope. <laughs> Take two. There we go. I like that even though he doesn't have a hook, he's still just standing there with the string in the water. <laughs> Hopeful. As an embedded in your hand. You might want to get that wound looked at, buddy. He's such a pro. He catches something that isn't a fish. It's the mermaid's necklace. L -l lucky So lucky. I guess it would have also worked if he caught a fish that had the necklace in its mouth or whatever. Yeah. No, we're gonna keep the pretty necklace. RIP! Yeah. She gives you a piece of her skin. It's a little weird. Scales are just outer protection. So now she has an Achilles heel. Right, she's got a weak point. Just like Smaug. This is what I should have gone for. 
This is Mambo. Mambo, child of the sunfish. He's one of those uh, alo, 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 whatever fishes. Mambo has a mambo. <laughs> Oh, yeah. This doofy little dancing fish. Yeah, the backup dancers are the best part of this whole thing. Which way? Every way. Oh! And that's our second song, Mambo's Mambo. That is a teleportation song. We use that to fly to a specific little patch of water, which is sort of like in the center of the map, so it's a good place to go if you get stuck somewhere. Also, it's right next to the lady that sells the red potion. Let's check that out. We also have a selection menu. Right. Which is very easy to get caught on. As you notice, there is a third song. Eventually, I just move the ocarina down to the bottom section so that it's out of the way. The magnifying lens. That's what the trading sequence ultimately leads to, but we can't get to the statue yet. Not quite. So back at the house, looking under the pots. Aha! It's the 20th secret seashell. Oh boy! And here I figure it out. Just destroy this giant skull. Yeah. Get lost. Here we go. What's our reward? It's a seashell keychain! Give that to the mermaid for another scale! Actually, the prize is the Wrath of Zeus! You're dead now! <laughs> no, it's a sword! Sword falls on his head. <laughs> That's more the Wrath of Damocles. Oh, great. It's the level 2 sword, the Seashell Sword. So now I have the red tunic and the level 2 sword with sword beams. Right. So my sword beams are about as strong as a level 1 sword. With the red tunic on. With the red tunic on. You're basically unstoppable now. Like, if you weren't unstoppable before... I am overpowered. Also, a funny thing to note is that you're halfway through the dungeons and you've got almost all of the map uncovered already. <laughs> I love that move when she's jumping out of the water. Nothing left to do, we go wreck catfish's maw. Blow ourselves up underwater. I pressed the wrong button. Really goofy looking catfish. <laughs> Are you gonna climb in there? Do you know what it's like to be eaten? That's all we catfish think about. And soon you two will know. The pain of the second water dungeon. It's not that bad. Nah. 